Take this! Take this! This'll hurt! I won't miss! Sweep it all away! So predictable! So arrogant! Out of the way! I'm unstoppable! Tear them all apart! Focus! Can you handle this? Veil of sand! Come on in! Despair rises! Flower of despair! My final flame! Let's get a little reckless! Chaos! I'll separate your soul! Rage! With all my might! You can't see everything! Nothing left of you! This is your last breath! You'll be forgotten forever! This is the end. I'll never lose again. Ta! Kya! Ha ha! Hmm! Kya! Kya! Hmm! Ta! Kya! Ha ha! Hmm! Kya! Kya! Hmm! Ta! Kya! Ha ha! Hmm! Kya! Ta! Ta! Kya! Ta! <laughs> Take this! Take this! This'll hurt! I won't miss! Sweep it all away! So predictable! So arrogant! Out of the way! I'm unstoppable! Tear them all apart! Focus! Can you handle this? Veil of sand! Come in! Despair rises! The flower of despair! My final flame! Let's get a little reckless! Chaos! I'll separate your soul! Rage! With all my might! You can't see everything. There'll be nothing left of you. This is... Your last breath! You'll be forgotten forever! This is the end. I'll never lose again. End of the line, Tasha. <laughs> wow, you got me. You're under arrest. <laughs> Remind me. What for? For assaulting your betters, commoner. That's what. Assault? Is that what they call it when they lose at Siamen? We're high flora. We're allowed to duel each other. Loser gets their wings scarred. Big deal. Siamen culture is sacred. It's strictly reserved for the blessed and the divine. Never for commoners. Well, if they're so strict about that, why'd they all agree to fight me? And if they're my betters, then how did they lose? Maybe you think you're better. You want to find out? You insolent. Oh, what are you, scared? Come on, I don't even have any magic. Should be easy, right? <laughs> if you want to know the truth, the blessed you beat barely deserve the name at all. Anyone with a drop of magic in their veins is blessed, and they wear their magic like a badge. But zealots like me? We bear it as a weapon. You're a commoner who learned how to punch and kick. Now, how do you see this ending? With a Siaman duel, obviously. If you want to call it that, fine. I accept. So what was that about your magic weapon? 
really makes you question the whole system, doesn't it? I trained to get this strong. I earned it. You were born with your power, and that puts you above me for life. How about that? But even if I had been born with magic, somehow by some miracle, I would never have wanted to be like you. My parents were commoners. I'm proud to be one of them. You get it yet? Look, I don't know what kind of trick you just pulled. No tricks. I'm just better. Now, about your wings. <laughs> Must be your lucky day. See you next time. End of the line, Tasha. <laughs> wow, you got me. You're under arrest. <laughs> Remind me. What for? For assaulting your betters, commoner. That's what. Assault? Is that what they call it when they lose at Siamen? We're high flora. We're allowed to duel each other. Loser gets their wings scarred. Big deal. Siamen culture is sacred. It's strictly reserved for the blessed and the divine. Never for commoners. Well, if they're so strict about that, why'd they all agree to fight me? And if they're my betters, then how did they lose? Maybe you think you're better. You want to find out? You insolent. Oh, what are you, scared? Come on, I don't even have any magic. Should be easy, right? <laughs> if you want to know the truth, the blessed you beat barely deserve the name at all. Anyone with a drop of magic in their veins is blessed, and they wear their magic like a badge. But zealots like me, we bear it as a weapon. You're a commoner who learned how to punch and kick. Now, how do you see this ending? With a Siaman duel, obviously. If you want to call it that, fine. I accept. So, what was that about your magic weapon? <sighs> really makes you question the whole system, doesn't it? I trained to get this strong. I earned it. You were born with your power, and that puts you above me for life. How about that? But even if I had been born with magic, somehow by some miracle, I would never have wanted to be like you. My parents were commoners. I'm proud to be one of them. You get it yet? Look, I don't know what kind of trick you just pulled. No tricks. I'm just better. Now, about your wings. <laughs> Must be your lucky day. See you next time. Tasha, you're back. Look, we've got a crib. Keenan brought it by today. Keenan did? She said it was a gift from Anon. Wait, what? And you accepted it? Hmm? We're commoners. You know how it's going to look if we accept a handout from the Blessed? As far as Keenan's told me, Anon just wanted to be charitable. Yeah, you know, I believe her. I'm sure his intentions were pure and holy. We still shouldn't accept it. If people find out they're going to turn their backs on us, it goes against our honor. Honor? You sound like one of them. Look, we need a crib, and business is slow these days. What do you mean, slow? <sighs> the Blessed found out I'm married to you, the troublemaker. Which is not to blame you for anything. We're the two most popular commoners in Eremos, all thanks to you. But the Blessed are the ones who buy weapons. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm proud of you, and I believe in you. You're standing up for all of us. But don't push yourself too hard. Especially these days. I won't. And thanks. I'm proud of you too. Jad. Mother? What's wrong? Is the baby coming? Tasha needs you. Right now. Tasha. <laughs> Honey. Tasha, why are you so pale? The baby. It feels wrong. Like magic. Magic? Tasha, I need to take a look. Oh, gods. We need to get the baby out now. Keenan, what do you mean, get it out? I've read about this. If a commoner gives birth to a child with magic power, the books use the word mutant, the magic will flood the mother's body, and she'll die. What? But if we take the baby out, she can live, right? Yes. Babies with magic power spread their wings and discharge magic just as they're born. We have to get it out and away from her before that happens. If we do, what will happen to the baby? It won't survive. But that's... We'll do it. Keenan, you're the only one here who can. Jad! No. Tasha, I have to make a choice. I'm choosing you. Please save our baby. Please promise me you'll keep our baby happy. Look at those wings. Tasha. Tasha, open your eyes. She's not breathing. Tasha. Tasha, please. Jad. Jad, your child needs you. Right. I promise to keep them happy. And safe. That won't be easy. I don't know much about mutants, but I know the blessed kill them, in the cradle, for being impure. We should take the baby and run. 
as far as we can. Run? Think about it, Jad. This... This could be our chance to fulfill Tasha's wish. In what way? The fact that this baby has magic is a statement in itself. Even between commoners, babies can be born into magic. Maybe they only call them mutants to scare people. Maybe the reason they have them all killed is so nobody finds out that commoners can have magic too. Listen, imagine your child, years from now, all grown up, doing just what Tasha did. Fighting for all of us. This child's existence could be a rallying cry. Our numbers could grow a hundredfold. What about the child's safety? It won't be safe here, but I can protect it. Keenan, I understand why you're fighting this wretched society. You and Tasha have sacrificed so much for that fight. You, you've been a fugitive all your life. How many times have you almost died? I, I don't want my child to inherit that life. And I don't think Tasha wanted that either. Our child deserves to grow up in peace. There's got to be a way. What if there were, but you couldn't ever see them again? If that's the price I'd have to pay for their happiness, then I'd pay it. Okay. If you're absolutely sure, Tasha saved the life of a high priest way back when. You've heard me talk about him. His name's Anan. Take your child and go see him. Tell him who the mother is. He'll be willing to return the favor. No. <laughs> Tasha, you're back. Look. We've got a crib. Keenan brought it by today. Keenan did? She said it was a gift from Anon. Wait, what? And you accepted it? Hmm? We're commoners. You know how it's going to look if we accept a handout from the Blessed? As far as Keenan's told me, Anon just wanted to be charitable. Yeah, you know, I believe her. I'm sure his intentions were pure and holy. We still shouldn't accept it. If people find out they're going to turn their backs on us, it goes against our honor. Honor? You sound like one of them. Look, we need a crib, and business is slow these days. What do you mean, slow? <sighs> the Blessed found out I married to you. The troublemaker. Which is not to blame you for anything. We're the two most popular commoners in Eremos, all thanks to you. But the Blessed are the ones who buy weapons. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm proud of you, and I believe in you. You're standing up for all of us. But don't push yourself too hard. Especially these days. I won't. And thanks. I'm proud of you too. Jad! Mother? What's wrong? Is the baby coming? Tasha needs you. Right now. Tasha! <laughs> Honey? Tasha, why are you so pale? The baby. It feels wrong. Like magic. Magic? Tasha, I need to take a look. Oh, gods. We need to get the baby out now. Keenan, what do you mean, get it out? I've read about this. If a commoner gives birth to a child with magic power, the books use the word mutant, the magic will flood the mother's body, and she'll die. What? But if we take the baby out, she can live, right? Yes. Babies with magic power spread their wings and discharge magic just as they're born. We have to get it out and away from her before that happens. If we do, what will happen to the baby? It won't survive. But that's... We'll do it. Keenan, you're the only one here who can. Jad! No. Tasha, I have to make a choice. I'm choosing you. Please save our baby. Please promise me you'll keep our baby happy. Look at those wings. Tasha. Tasha, open your eyes. She's not breathing. Tasha. Tasha, please. Jad. Jad, your child needs you. Right. I promise to keep them happy. And safe. That won't be easy. I don't know much about mutants, but I know the blessed kill them, in the cradle, for being impure. We should take the baby and run, as far as we can. Run? Think about it, Jad. This, this could be our chance to fulfill Tasha's wish. In what way? The fact that this baby has magic is a statement in itself. Even between commoners, babies can be born into magic. Maybe they only call them mutants to scare people. Maybe the reason they have them all killed is so nobody finds out that commoners can have magic too. Listen, imagine your child, years from now, all grown up, doing just what Tasha did. Fighting for all of us. This child's existence could be a rallying cry. Our numbers could grow a hundredfold. What about the child's safety? It won't be safe here. But I can protect it. Keenan, I understand why you're fighting this wretched society. You and Tasha have sacrificed so much for that fight. You, you've been a fugitive all your life. How many times have you almost died? I, 
I don't want my child to inherit that life, and I don't think Tasha wanted that either. Our child deserves to grow up in peace. There's got to be a way. What if there were, but you couldn't ever see them again? If that's the price I'd have to pay for their happiness, then I'd pay it. Okay. If you're absolutely sure, Tasha saved the life of a high priest way back when. You've heard me talk about him. His name's Anan. Take your child and go see him. Tell him who the mother is. He'll... be willing to return the favor. No. <laughs> Master, a guest has arrived. My wife is in labor. I don't have time for strangers. Send them back. He... said it's urgent. And I said, send them back. He said someone named Tasha passed. And he brought her child. But yes, I'll send him back. Hmm? Tasha... passed? That's what he told me, Master. Is this fate? Call the Hall of Records. Twins were born in our house tonight. Master, a guest has arrived. My wife is in labor. I don't have time for strangers. Send them back. He said it's urgent. And I said, send them back. He said someone named Tasha passed. And he brought her child. But yes, I'll send him back. Hmm? Tasha passed? That's what he told me, Master. Is this fate? Call the Hall of Records. Twins were born in our house tonight. So... Why is it just the two of us today? Kali, please don't rush. Walk gracefully. I can't! The weather is too nice. So why is it just the two of us today? Kali, please don't rush. Walk gracefully. I can't. The weather's too nice. Welcome. Good day, Jad. Is the order ready? Yes, it is. How do you like them? Fine work as always, sir. Well, Kali, how do you like your birthday presents? Whoa! I get both of these? <laughs> Beautiful! And knowing you... You should have just enough time to master them before the test of faith. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Dad. Your birthday, is it? In that case, here. I have something. For the daughter of <clears throat> my best client. Oh, um... If I might presume to offer one, that is. Go ahead, Kali. I'm honored to give you this. Oh, thank you. It's really pretty. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I mean... It pleases me greatly, sir. And it suits you well. Glad you like it. Oh, uh, uh, how do I say this formally? Have you another such scarf, sir? As it happens, today is also my sister's birthday. Unfortunately, I only have one of those. But if it's for your sister, I do have another one like it. How about this one? Different color, different design, but same general style. Ah, beautiful. Well... We have to get a move on. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome. Good day, Jad. Is the order ready? Yes, it is. How do you like them? Fine work as always, sir. Well, Kali, how do you like your birthday presents? Oh, I get both of these? Ha! <laughs> Beautiful. And knowing you, you should have just enough time to master them before the test of faith. Happy birthday. Ah, thank you, Dad. Your birthday, is it? In that case, here. I have something. For the child of... <clears throat> My best client. Oh, uh... If I might presume to offer one, that is. Go ahead, Kali. I'm honored to give you this. Oh, uh, thank you. It's really nice. <clears throat> I mean, it pleases me greatly, sir. And it suits you well. Glad you like it. Oh, uh, how do I say this formally? Have you another such scarf, sir? As it happens, today is also my sister's birthday. Unfortunately, I only have one of those. But if it's for your sister, I do have another one like it. How about this one? Different color, different design, but same general style. Ah, quite nice. Well, we have to get a move on. Thanks for stopping by. Hey! What's wrong, Raja? Nothing. Were you out? I couldn't find you or Dad. Yeah, we went to buy some birthday presents. Oh, here. This one's from me to you. Hmm. A scarf, huh? What do you think? Do you like it? It looks a lot like yours. Yeah, a nice shop owner gave me this one. I wanted to get one just like it for you. But that's the closest one they had. I see. Yours is pretty. Okay, you're still sad. Uh, so, what's the problem? Did you want a different one? It's not about that. Do you like this one more? If you want to switch, I'm happy to. Whatever you like. Thank you. You know, I think it looks better on you. Happy birthday, sis. Happy birthday, sister. Hey, what's wrong, Rasha? Nothing. Were you... out? I couldn't find you or Dad. Yeah, we went to buy some birthday presents. Oh. Here, this one's from me to you. Hmm. A scarf, huh? 
What do you think? Do you like it? It looks a lot like yours. It looks a lot like yours. Yeah, a nice shop owner gave me this one. I wanted to get one just like it for you, but that's the closest one they had. I see. Yours is nice. Okay, you're still sad. So, what's the problem? Did you want a different one? It's not about that. Do you like this one more? If you want to switch, I'm happy to. Whatever you like. Thank you. You know, I think it looks better on you. Happy birthday, sis. Happy birthday, brother. Rasha, you've been training hard. I have been. But I still can't beat you. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just way too strong. So, what do you think my chances are? Are we both going to make it? Or is it going to be Kali the Zealot and Rasha the Washout? Don't talk like that. You'll make it just like I will. Even if I do, everyone else there is going to be strong like you. How am I going to fit in? Listen, just think about why we decided to do this. Sister, what do we do? It's going to be okay, Rasha. Just stay behind me. Are either of you hurt? N no, we're all right. <gasps> you saved us. Thank you so, so much. Rather reckless of you two to be out here. Not our safest neighborhood, I'm sorry to say. It's best you hurry home. Oh, wait! What's your name? I want to repay you. Repay me? Father says the world turns on reciprocity. <laughs> reciprocity, is it? Well, I seem to have protected you. Perhaps the two of you could protect me one day. Really? When you're older and stronger, of course. W wait! I still don't know your name. Well, most people call me Lord of Eremos, or the Divine if they must. But you may call me Ypsilon. Reciprocity. We promised. He's a great man, a great ruler. He deserves our help, and this is what we can do for him. Of course. Now, when you talk about your strength, you're talking about raw muscle. But I think the most important muscle is your heart. As long as you hold on to what you believe in, keep it right here. You'll do what you need to do. I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah. See? Your heart is what motivates you to grow as strong as you need to when you're working towards what you want and believe in the most. So just feel that heartbeat and let that be the drum that keeps you marching on. I will. Yeah, you will. We're going to be zealots together, fighting for the city we love. Absolutely. Yes, we are. Rasha, you've been training hard. I have been. I still can't beat you. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just way too strong. So, what do you think my chances are? Are we both going to make it? Or is it going to be Kali the Zealot and Rasha the Washout? Don't talk like that. You'll make it. Just like I will. Even if I do, everyone else there is going to be strong like you. How am I going to fit in? Listen, just think about why we decided to do this. What do we do? It, it's going to be okay, Rasha. Just stay behind me. Are either of you hurt? N no, we're all right. You saved us. Thank you so, so much. Rather reckless of you two to be out here. Not our safest neighborhood, I'm sorry to say. It's best you hurry home. Wait, what's your name? I want to repay you. Repay me? Father says the world turns on reciprocity. <laughs> reciprocity, is it? Well, I seem to have protected you. Perhaps the two of you could protect me one day. Really? When you're older and stronger, of course. W wait I still don't know your name. Well, most people call me Lord of Eremos, or the Divine if they must. But you may call me Ypsilon. Reciprocity. We promised. He's a great man, a great ruler. He deserves our help, and this is what we can do for him. Of course. Now, when you talk about your strength, you're talking about raw muscle. But I think the most important muscle is your heart. As long as you hold on to what you believe in, keep it right here. You'll do what you need to do. I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah, see? Your heart is what motivates you to grow as strong as you need to when you're working toward what you want and believe in the most. So just feel that heartbeat and let that be the drum that keeps you marching on. I will. Yeah, you will. We're going to be zealots together, fighting for the city we love. Absolutely. Yes, we are. A single elimination tournament. Siaman rules. Two divisions, and the winner from each joins the zealous. Siaman, the honorable dueling culture of the high flora. In the name of the god king, they swear to a fair fight, and then battle it out with magic. Among the blessed, it's mostly done for sport. 
or to show the masses how powerful our magic is, or just to show off. But any one of the blessed can also challenge a divine. And that's when it gets serious. Every divine is a Siaman champion. It's considered an act of valor to challenge them, and as a defender of their title, they have to accept. I've never actually fought a real Siaman duel before. I guarantee you half these other guys haven't either. Maybe more than half. You're not going to be fighting Lord Ypsilon today. Just some regular people like you. And you've trained way harder than they have. <laughs> I wonder what it'd be like to fight Lord Ypsilon. Hmm, maybe I'll challenge him someday. I'm pretty sure he'd thrash you. <laughs> oh, he definitely would. I wouldn't expect to beat him. I just want to challenge him to show my respect. To show him how strong he inspired me to be. <laughs> well, best of luck with that. Best of luck to both of us. Let's do this. Absolutely. Oh, one second. Let me look at the matchups. Ah. <sighs> what? We're in separate divisions. I was dreading getting matched up with you. Ha! Well, hey, you know I'm gonna beat everybody. Which means everybody here is weaker than me. Which means you should have no problem. That actually makes me feel a lot better. Thanks. You're Anand's daughter, aren't you? I wonder if you're as strong as he is. <laughs> Don't expect me to hold back for you. Of course not. Come right at me. You got it. Let's see what you're made of. A single elimination tournament. Siaman rules. Two divisions, and the winner from each joins the Zealous. Siaman. The honorable dueling culture of the High Flora. In the name of the God King, they swear to a fair fight, and then battle it out with magic. Among the Blessed, it's mostly done for sport. Or to show the masses how powerful our magic is. Or just to show off. But any one of the blessed can also challenge a divine. And that's when it gets serious. Every divine is a Siaman champion. It's considered an act of valor to challenge them. And as a defender of their title, they have to accept. I've never actually fought a real Siaman duel before. I guarantee you half these other guys haven't either. Maybe more than half. You're not going to be fighting Lord Ypsilon today. Just some regular people like you. And you've trained way harder than they have. <laughs> I wonder what it'd be like to fight Lord Ypsilon. Maybe I'll challenge him someday. I'm pretty sure he'd thrash you. Oh, he definitely would. I wouldn't expect to beat him. I just want to challenge him to show my respect. To show him how strong he inspired me to be. <laughs> well, best of luck with that. Best of luck to both of us. Let's do this. Absolutely. Oh, one second. Let me look at the matchups. Ah. <sighs> what? We're in separate divisions. I was dreading getting matched up with you. <laughs> well, you know I'm gonna beat everybody, which means everybody here is weaker than me, which means you should have no problem. That actually makes me feel a lot better. Thanks. You're Anand's son, aren't you? I wonder if you're as strong as he is. <laughs> Don't expect me to hold back for you. Of course not. Come right at me. You got it. Let's see what you're made of. Rasha! Kali! We did it! You know each other. I should have guessed from the scars. We're sisters! <laughs> Two siblings, elevated to zealotry on the same day. Your parents must be very proud. It's a great honor for the family, sir. Who is your father? High Priest Anand, sir. Ah, I know Anand well. Clearly his blood runs strong in you. Very well. Rasha! Kali! We did it! You know each other. I should have guessed from the scars. We're brother and sister. <laughs> Two siblings, elevated to zealotry on the same day. Your parents must be very proud. It's a great honor for the family, sir. Who is your father? High Priest Anand, sir. Ah, I know Anand well. Clearly his blood runs strong in you. Very well. You stand ready to join the Zealous, the keepers of justice and order in our glorious city. Will you serve the city of Eremos and the divine Lord Ypsilon with eternal loyalty? Do you swear it? Yes. I swear eternal loyalty. Yes. I swear eternal loyalty. I remember you two. The wayward children from all those years ago. You remember us, my lord? You both stood out to me. We didn't know you were the lord until you told us. From that day on, we trained to be your protectors. And now? <laughs> Here we are. Ah, you've taken your first step, yes. But there'll be many more to come. Whatever you command, my lord. We are ready to defend you to the death. No, don't die for me. Live. For our people. You stand ready to join the Zealous, the keepers of justice and order in our glorious city. Will you serve the city of Eremos 
and the Divine Lord Ypsilon with eternal loyalty. Do you swear it? Yes. I swear eternal loyalty. Yes. I swear eternal loyalty. I remember you two. The wayward children from all those years ago. You remember us, my lord? You both stood out to me. We didn't know you were the lord until you told us. From that day on, we trained to be your protectors. And now? <sighs> Here we are. Ah, you've taken your first step, yes. But there'll be many more to come. Whatever you command, my lord. We are ready to defend you to the death. No. Don't die for me. Live. For our people. I can't believe he remembered us! Right? He really is amazing. I want to make him proud. I'm sure you will. <laughs> well, you will too. We both made it, Rasha. We're going to be unstoppable from here on out. You said it. I can't believe he remembered us. Right? He really is amazing. I want to make him proud. I'm sure you will. Well, you will too. We both made it, Rasha. We're going to be unstoppable from here on out. You said it. Initiate Kali. Initiate Rasha. I hope you finished settling in. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Good. I've been keeping tabs on your performance. You've accomplished every mission you've been given. And Kali, you especially have been shining out there in the field. Beyond my expectations. Thank you, sir. Not long after you two joined us, I told you I would call on you when the time comes. Do you remember? Yes, sir. That time has come. You've served the Zealous faithfully for a year now. But you are still initiates. To advance, you'll have to pass one final test of loyalty. A sacred mission awaits you. But once you've accomplished it, there's no going back. Can you commit to that? Yes, Captain. Uh, Rasha? Yes, Captain. Good. Then here's the mission. You'll have to raid the enemy and bring ten captives back alive. Each of you. You'll find that's much more difficult than killing them outright. Good luck. Oh, and remember your oath. Initiate Kali. Initiate Rasha. I hope you finished settling in. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Good. I've been keeping tabs on your performance. You've accomplished every mission you've been given. And Kali, you especially have been shining out there in the field. Beyond my expectations. Thank you, sir. Not long after you two joined us, I told you I would call on you when the time comes. Do you remember? Yes, sir. That time has come. You've served the Zealous faithfully for a year now. But you are still initiates. To advance, you'll have to pass one final test of loyalty. A sacred mission awaits you. But once you've accomplished it, there's no going back. Can you commit to that? Yes, Captain. Uh... Rasha? Yes, Captain. Good. Then here's the mission. You'll have to raid the enemy and bring ten captives back alive. Each of you. You'll find that's much more difficult than killing them outright. Good luck. Oh, and remember your oath. Welcome back. Lord Epsilon himself will debrief you. The Lord wants to see us? Now? That's right. Come with me. Uh, reporting in, my lord. By your command, I bring you these enemy captives. Well done. My lord, may I ask one question? Rasha! Of course. Of all the missions you could have given us, what did you want these captives for? Hmm. Before I answer that, as I recall, Rasha, you swore eternal loyalty to me. Yes, my lord. I certainly did. When you took that oath, did you understand what loyalty truly means? True loyalty comes from the heart, from the sincerity of faith and trust. To follow that pledge daily, to commit oneself to every task, every order, every step of the way without doubt, without question. That is loyalty. Perhaps you had a different definition in mind the day you took the oath. If so, kindly take off the uniform now. My lord, I truly respect you. I only asked because... Eternal loyalty, my lord. We soar to it with all sincerity. Hmm. What are you doing? Rasha. <sighs> In your duties among the zealous, you've taken lives, have you not? If I were to ask you why, what would you say? We... we did it for the safety of the people. Yes, you killed them for the greater good. I understand all too well. You and those who share your devotion have slain a great many in defense of the city, and I could never command you to stain your hands with the blood of the unenlightened, were I not willing to do the same. You understand now why we keep these missions from the initiates, until they're ready to know. Even so, it always comes as a shock to them. I only hope you also understand. Your oath is your bond, 
the very essence of your integrity. May it always hold true for both of you. Welcome back. Lord Epsilon himself will debrief you. The Lord wants to see us? Now? That's right. Come with me. Reporting in, my lord. By your command, I bring you these enemy captives. Well done. My lord, may I ask one question? Rasha? Of course. Of all the missions you could have given us, what did you want these captives for? Hmm. Before I answer that, as I recall, Rasha, you swore eternal loyalty to me. Yes, my lord. I certainly did. When you took that oath, did you understand what loyalty truly means? True loyalty comes from the heart, from the sincerity of faith and trust. To follow that pledge daily, to commit oneself to every task, every order, every step of the way, without doubt, without question, that is loyalty. Perhaps you had a different definition in mind the day you took the oath. If so, kindly take off the uniform now. My lord, I truly respect you. I only ask because... Eternal loyalty, my lord. We swore to it with all sincerity. Hmm. What are you doing? Rasha! <sighs> In your duties among the zealous, you've taken lives, have you not? If I were to ask you why, what would you say? We... we did it for the safety of the people. Yes, you killed them for the greater good. I understand all too well. You and those who share your devotion have slain a great many in defense of the city. And I could never command you to stain your hands with the blood of the unenlightened, were I not willing to do the same. You understand now why we keep these missions from the initiates, until they're ready to know. Even so, it always comes as a shock to them. I only hope you also understand. Your oath is your bond, the very essence of your integrity. May it always hold true for both of you. Kali? Yeah? Are... are you going to stay? What do you mean? I've been thinking about it from all different angles. There's no way that was the right thing. Wh what are you... you're not thinking of quitting, are you? Aren't you? You'd better be after what we just saw. No! Listen, remember what the captain said? Once we've carried out that mission, there's no going back. We've seen too much. They'll never let us go. I don't care. I can't be a part of this. You're not thinking straight. You're not thinking at all. Did you forget what you said to me? The heart, remember? We've got to follow our hearts. My heart belongs to this city and the Lord who protects it. Everything he does is for the people. Even that. And he's right. It's dirty work, but someone has to do it. Why not him? Our city has enemies, and he's helping us fight them. We fight when there's a threat. A tied-up, helpless person is not a threat. And did you see what he did to them? Uh, probably less than they deserved. And if they're gonna die anyway, what does it matter if he... Do you hear yourself? Is this what you wanted? What either of us wanted when we signed up to help people? And no one needs to steal someone else's life force. There's no defensible reason for that. There has to be. He's a good person. Do you really think so? Still, Kali, I wanted to be a protector, not a murderer. If you're really okay with what you saw back there, then I don't even know what to say to you. Rasha! Kali? Yeah? Are... are you going to stay? What do you mean? I've been thinking about it from all different angles. There's no way that was the right thing. What are you... you're not thinking of quitting, are you? Aren't you? You'd better be after what we just saw. No, listen. Remember what the captain said? Once we've carried out that mission, there's no going back. We've seen too much. They'll never let us go. I don't care. I can't be a part of this. You're not thinking straight. You're not thinking at all. Did you forget what you said to me? The heart, remember? We've got to follow our hearts. My heart belongs to this city and the Lord who protects it. Everything he does is for the people, even that. And he's right. It's dirty work, but someone has to do it. Why not him? Our city has enemies, and he's helping us fight them. We fight when there's a threat. A tied-up, helpless person is not a threat. And did you see what he did to them? Probably less than they deserved. And if they're going to die anyway, what does it matter if he... Do you hear yourself? Is this what you wanted? What either of us wanted when we signed up to help people? And no one needs to steal someone else's life force. 
There's no defensible reason for that. There has to be. He's a good person. Do you really think so? Still, Kali, I wanted to be a protector, not a murderer. If you're really okay with what you saw back there, then I don't even know what to say to you. Rasha! You really want out. Now. After what you've seen? <laughs> well, you know where this is going. Kill me if you have to. I'm done. Right you are. Captain! Step aside, Kali. She's made her choice. Put me in charge of her. I'll straighten her out, and she won't tell a soul. I'll make sure of it. Just please don't kill my sister. All right. You've earned that favor. You're loyal, you're capable, and I know you'd follow any order I give you. Rip her wings off. You... You want me to... No, no, not my wings. You... Just kill me. I'd rather die. I'll leave it up to you, Kali. Rasha. <laughs> Strong, loyal, and wise beyond your years. Once again, Kali, you exceed my expectations. You really want out. Now. After what you've seen? <laughs> well, you know where this is going. Kill me if you have to. I'm done. Right you are. Captain! Step aside, Kali. She's made her choice. Put me in charge of her. I'll straighten her out. And she won't tell a soul. I'll make sure of it. Just... Please don't kill my sister. All right. You've earned that favor. You're loyal, you're capable, and I know you'd follow any order I give you. Rip her wings off. You... you want me to... No, no, not my wings! You... just kill me! I'd rather die! I'll leave it up to you, Kali. Rasha... <laughs> <laughs> Strong, loyal, and wise beyond your years. Once again, Kali, you exceed my expectations. Rasha... I... There's something I want to give you. These are... Before you say anything, just listen. Our wings stand for who we are. You know that. I'm still here thanks to you. But my wings are gone. I don't just mean the ones on my shoulders. I mean you, Kali. You are my wings. When Dad got your chakrams, I bought those swords for myself. Because I wanted to be like you. My whole life. You've inspired me. I envied you. And I respected you. Russia. Now I don't feel anything. You probably think you saved me. But without my wings, without my pride, I'm dead. I didn't have a choice. I had to save her. There was no other way. If I hadn't done it, I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Russia. I... There's something I want to give you. These are... Before you say anything, just listen. Our wings stand for who we are. You know that. I'm still here thanks to you. But my wings are gone. I don't just mean the ones on my shoulders. I mean you, Kali. You are my wings. When Dad got your chakrams, I bought those swords for myself. Because I wanted to be like you. My whole life. You've inspired me. I envied you. And I respected you. Rasha. Now I don't feel anything. You probably think you saved me. But without my wings, without my pride, I'm dead. I didn't have a choice. I had to save her. There was no other way. If I hadn't done it, I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Rasha, are you awake? I haven't seen you in, well, a year now. Time flies, huh? Could you please show me your face? Just once? I'm sorry. I'll come back. Rasha, are you awake? I haven't seen you in... Wow, a year now. Time flies, huh? Could you... please show me your face? Just once? I'm sorry. I'll come back. Rasha? I hope I'm not waking you up. I got promoted today. I'm the captain's adjutant now. I know. I'm not expecting you to congratulate me or anything. I just wanted to tell you. Someday, you'll show me your face again. Won't you? Our birthday's coming up. Remember our birthday before last? When we got the two scarves? It was the first time we'd gotten, well, almost identical presents. I loved how people recognized we were family because we had those scarves. Best birthday ever. Last year, we were so busy with missions, we couldn't even celebrate. 
It's been bugging me ever since, so... This year? This year I really want to spend our birthday together. Good night, Rasha. Rasha? I hope I'm not waking you up. I got promoted today. I'm the captain's adjutant now. I know. I'm not expecting you to congratulate me or anything. I just wanted to tell you. Someday you'll show me your face again. Won't you? Our birthday's coming up. Remember our birthday before last? When we got those two scarves? It was the first time we'd gotten... Well, almost identical presents. I loved how people recognized we were family because we had those scarves. Best birthday ever. Last year, we were so busy with missions, we couldn't even celebrate. It's been bugging me ever since, so this year... This year, I really want us to spend our birthday together. Good night, Rasha. Reporting for duty, Captain. At ease, Kali. I've called you here for a very important mission. Ready and awaiting orders. I mentioned once there was someone else as fast as you. Do you remember? Only vaguely, sir. I don't recall you telling me who they were. Her name was Tasha. By commoner standards, she was exceptionally fast and strong. Huh. Did she have magic? No, no magic. Just martial arts. But she excelled at those. She was stronger than some blessed. A commoner stronger than blessed? She was a troublemaker. She'd pick out weak blessed and challenge them to Siaman duels. And then when she beat them, she'd crow about how commoners were just as good as we were and how the caste system ought to be abolished. Obviously, she was a threat to our way of life. I chased after her myself, but I never caught her. Turned out I didn't need to. She died shortly after she got started. Just up and vanished one day. Later, we found her body. Turned out she died during childbirth. Word on the street was the child had died too. Her husband was just a regular shopkeeper, and her child was dead. So, closed the books on her. And that was that. Until a short while ago, when an old friend of hers showed up again. A rabble-rouser named Keenan. We arrested her immediately. I remembered how she dragged down everyone's spirits with her rumors and lies. So, I paid her a visit in her cell. As I expected, she and Tasha have been close as kin. What Tasha did with her fists, Keenan did with her words. Now, Keenan had laid low since Tasha's death. Hadn't made a sound in years. So, what made her start up again? I asked her that. Apparently, she'd been telling the crowds there was a mutant in our city. I asked her that. Apparently, she'd been telling the crowds there was a mutant in our city. A mutant? As in a commoner with magic? Do we know who it is? Reporting for duty, Captain. At ease, Kali. I've called you here for a very important mission. Ready, and awaiting orders. I mentioned once there was someone else as fast as you. Do you remember? Only vaguely, sir. I don't recall you telling me who they were. Her name was Tasha. By commoner standards, she was exceptionally fast and strong. Hmm. Did she have magic? No, no magic. Just martial arts. But she excelled at those. She was stronger than some blessed. A commoner stronger than blessed? She was a troublemaker. She'd pick out weak blessed and challenge them to Siaman duels. And then when she beat them, she'd crow about how commoners were just as good as we were and how the caste system ought to be abolished. Obviously, she was a threat to our way of life. I chased after her myself, but <sighs> I never caught her. Turned out I didn't need to. She died shortly after she got started. Just up and vanished one day. Later, we found her body. Turned out she died during childbirth. Word on the street was the child had died too. Her husband was just a regular shopkeeper and her child was dead. So, closed the books on her. And that was that. Until a short while ago, when an old friend of hers showed up again. A rabble-rouser named Keenan. We arrested her immediately. I remembered how she dragged down everyone's spirits with her rumors and lies. So, I paid her a visit in her cell. As I expected, she and Tasha have been close as kin. What Tasha did with her fists, Keenan did with her words. Now, Keenan had laid low since Tasha's death. Hadn't made a sound in years. So what made her start up again? I asked her that. Apparently, she'd been telling the crowds there was a mutant in our city. I asked her that. Apparently, she'd been telling the crowds there was a mutant in our city. A mutant? As in... A commoner with magic? Do we know who it is? Give me a name. Tell me, and I'll order them to spare your life. <laughs> you give your word? It's your one chance, and it's slipping away as we speak. That's a no. You're going to kill me either way. I know how you blessed are. Do you? 
then consider this choice. Speak and die painlessly, or hold your tongue until you can't anymore. Until all you can do is scream. I'm not afraid of you, or your magic. You needn't fear us at all. That'll do, Captain. Yes, my lord. May I ask why your lips are sealed so tightly? You have to ask? Oh, I'm sure you have your reasons, of course. The good of your people, your cause, your sense of morality. But what drives you most of all? <laughs> what do you care? I swear, you people ask the weirdest questions. You dare? At ease, Captain. Keenan, the commoners are my people too. I need to understand them. And you, of course, as one of them. Well, I do have a sense of morality and a cause and people, but I don't risk my life for those anymore. Let's just say I'm doing this out of loyalty. Loyalty, an admirable trait. Not easy to extract, but not impossible either. <sighs> Stop! What are you doing? Now let us ask you again. What is the name of the mutant? I never heard the name, but it's Tasha's child. Tasha? Hmm. The child was born with wings, so we faked its death, but the child is... Give me a name. Tell me, and I'll order them to spare your life. <laughs> you give your word? It's your one chance, and it's slipping away as we speak. That's a no. You're going to kill me either way. I know how you blessed are. Do you? Then consider this choice. Speak and die painlessly, or hold your tongue until you can't anymore. Until all you can do is scream. I'm not afraid of you. Or your magic. You needn't fear us at all. That'll do, Captain. Yes, my lord. May I ask why your lips are sealed so tightly? You have to ask? Oh, I'm sure you have your reasons, of course. The good of your people, your cause, your sense of morality. But what drives you most of all? <laughs> what do you care? I swear, you people ask the weirdest questions. You dare? At ease, Captain. Keenan, the commoners are my people too. I need to understand them. And you, of course, as one of them. Well, I do have a sense of morality and a cause and people, but I don't risk my life for those anymore. Let's just say I'm doing this out of loyalty. Loyalty, an admirable trait. Not easy to extract. But not impossible either. Stop! What are you doing? Now let us ask you again. What is the name of the mutant? I never heard the name, but it's Tasha's child. Tasha? Hmm. The child was born with wings, so we faked its death. But the child is... Alive. Tasha had a mutant child. And it's here? In the city? Yes. An heir to her legacy. And with magical power, no less. If Tasha was a threat, her child could be a catastrophe. We have to find out who it is. Alive. Tasha had a mutant child? And it's here in the city? Yes. An heir to her legacy. And with magical power, no less. If Tasha was a threat, her child could be a catastrophe. We have to find out who it is. Ah, blessed one. Welcome. How can I help you? Is everything all right? Is that your mother next to you? Ah, yes, she is. Mother, say hello. This is High Priest Anand's child. Oh, hello, Blessed One. Anand's child. You must be the other girl's sister. We'll talk later, Mother. Now, are you looking for weapons? What kind? Who are they for? No, I'm looking for you. You're both under arrest. I... I'm sorry, what? Come with me, please. Ah, Blessed One. Welcome. How can I help you? Is everything all right? Is that your mother next to you? Ah, yes, she is. Mother, say hello. This is High Priest Anand's child. Oh, hello, Blessed One. Anand's child. You must be the pink-haired girl's brother. We'll talk later, Mother. Now, are you looking for weapons? What kind? Who are they for? No, I'm looking for you. You're both under arrest. I... I'm sorry... What? Come with me, please. All right. We have a few questions. I'll handle it, Kali. Stay outside and guard the door. Sir? This is a sensitive case. We need to make sure no one else comes in. Understood, sir. Captain, why are you doing this to us? We're just ordinary commoners. We run a store, that's all. 
We haven't committed any crimes or sins. No sins, you say? Well, no more than any other law-abiding citizen. This isn't just because we're Tasha's family, is it? No. You're far too noble. You wouldn't arrest us for that. <laughs> True. But irrelevant. I left you alone for many years, Chad. When I thought you were innocent, you've no doubt heard of mutants. I'm sure you know their magic is impure. Now tell me, Jad, do you have any children? I had one, briefly. It died at birth. Is that so? Yes. It's all on record. I reported it that night. You can check. I lost my wife and my... Uh, Jad! My men and I have kept you living in peace your whole life. My men and I have kept you living in peace your whole life. I imagine you've never been cut like that before. So what now? Ready to tell me the truth? I've told you the truth. There's nothing else. Well then, there's no reason to keep you here. Why don't you go meet your wife? Blessed one, please! I'll tell you everything! Please, stop! <laughs> Jad, you have a wise mother. Tasha's baby was a mutant, it's true. When we saw the baby's wings, we sent her to the high priest's house for adoption. Mother, no. Stop. Which high priest? Anan. His name is Anan. In the name of the child. I don't know. Of course you know. Don't test me. No, I truly don't. My son was the one who took it to the priest. I barely even looked at it. I didn't want to remember its face. Hmm. Fair enough. Back to you then, Jad. Wait. There's a way to find out who the child is. Go on. Jad gave Tasha's keepsake to the child as a gift. Did he? On their 17th birthday. Yes. And what is this keepsake? It's a scarf, embroidered with Tasha's symbol. All right. We have a few questions. I'll handle it, Kali. Stay outside and guard the door. Sir? This is a sensitive case. We need to make sure no one else comes in. Understood, sir. Captain, why are you doing this to us? We're just ordinary commoners. We run a store, that's all. We haven't committed any crimes or sins. No sins, you say? Well... No more than any other law-abiding citizen. This isn't just because we're Tasha's family, is it? No. You're far too noble. You wouldn't arrest us for that. <laughs> True. But irrelevant. I left you alone for many years, Jad. When I thought you were innocent, you've no doubt heard of mutants. I'm sure you know their magic is impure. Now tell me, Jad. Do you have any children? I had one, briefly. It died at birth. Is that so? Yes. It's all on record. I reported it that night. You can check. I lost my wife and my... Uh, Jad! My men and I have kept you living in peace your whole life. My men and I have kept you living in peace your whole life. I imagine you've never been cut like that before. So what now? Ready to tell me the truth? I've told you the truth. There's nothing else. Well then... There's no reason to keep you here. Why don't you go meet your wife? Blessed one, please! I'll tell you everything! Please, stop! <laughs> Jad, you have a wise mother. Tasha's baby was a mutant, it's true. When we saw the baby's wings, we sent her to the high priest's house for adoption. Mother, no. Stop. Which high priest? Anan. His name is Anan. In the name of the child. I don't know. Of course you know. Don't test me. No, I truly don't. My son was the one who took it to the priest. I barely even looked at it. I didn't want to remember its face. Hmm. Fair enough. Back to you then, Jad. Wait. There's a way to find out who the child is. Go on. Jad gave Tasha's keepsake to the child as a gift. Did he? On their 17th birthday. Yes. And what is this keepsake? It's a scarf, embroidered with Tasha's symbol. Did you find out the name? No, but I found a lead. Good, Captain. What's wrong? Didn't your sister have a scarf like yours? That's right, she did. Why do you ask? I need to see Lord Ypsilon. Keep watch here. Make sure they don't escape. By your order, Captain. Did you find out the name? No, but I found a lead. Good, Captain. 
What's wrong? Didn't your sister have a scarf like yours? That's right, she did. Why do you ask? I need to see Lord Ypsilon. Keep watch here. Make sure they don't escape. By your order, Captain. Blessed one! Blessed one! You're Odin's child, yes? Please. Please save us. Don't worry. If you're innocent, you'll be home by nightfall. Just tell us everything you know. I already said everything! We sent the child to your father's house! So, please, blessed one, please! They've served their purpose. We can dispose of them now. Adjutant, what are you doing? Lord Ypsilon has spoken. Don't get in his way. My lord, there's no need to dispose of them. Kali! It's all right, Captain. Please, Adjutant, continue. They've fully cooperated. They've told us everything we need to know. Indeed they have. So, forgive me, my lord. But shouldn't we let them go? I'm not sure I follow. We brought them here to question them, not kill them. They're innocent. By law, we have to set them free. Ah! Now I see where the misunderstanding is. These two are in no way innocent. They willfully hid the birth of a mutant. <gasps> That's quite a serious crime. Mutants are a symbol of sin, as I'm sure you're aware. They made a mistake, yes. But that was years ago, and, and they confessed to it. They aren't outlaws or vagabonds. They're our own people. They deserve... No one who has ever aided a mutant can be counted among our people. My lord, with all due respect... How can you say that? Think it through. Mutants' magic is impure and twisted. That makes them inherently evil. These two conspired to hide that evil within our own city, to plant a seed of corruption. In the home of a priest, no less. We cannot let them go unpunished. But that only makes sense if you assume the baby was born evil. Without that, they're just two poor people trying to save a child. You would question our sacred doctrine on their behalf? Commoners with no magic in their bloodlines, being born into magic regardless. That isn't natural, Kali. It's an affront to the natural order and all we stand for. Or perhaps you disagree. I, I just, wait, my lord, please. Blessed one, blessed one. You're Odin's child. Yes? Please. Please save us. Don't worry. If you're innocent, you'll be home by nightfall. Just tell us everything you know. I already said everything! We sent the child to your father's house! So, please, blessed one, please! They've served their purpose. We can dispose of them now. Adjutant, what are you doing? Lord Ypsilon has spoken. Don't get in his way. My lord, there's no need to dispose of them. Kali! It's all right, Captain. Please, Adjutant, continue. They fully cooperated. They've told us everything we need to know. Indeed they have. So, forgive me, my lord, but shouldn't we let them go? I'm not sure I follow. We brought them here to question them, not kill them. They're innocent. By law, we have to set them free. Ah, now I see where the misunderstanding is. These two are in no way innocent. They willfully hid the birth of a mutant. <sighs> That's quite a serious crime. Mutants are a symbol of sin, as I'm sure you're aware. They made a mistake, yes, but that was years ago, and they confessed to it. They aren't outlaws or vagabonds. They're our own people. They deserve... No one who has ever aided a mutant can be counted among our people. My lord, with all due respect, how can you say that? Think it through. Mutants' magic is impure and twisted. That makes them inherently evil. These two conspired to hide that evil within our own city, to plant a seed of corruption. In the home of a priest, no less. We cannot let them go unpunished. But that only makes sense if you assume the baby was born evil. Without that, they're just two poor people trying to save a child. You would question our sacred doctrine on their behalf? Commoners with no magic in their bloodlines, being born into magic regardless. That isn't natural, Kali. It's an affront to the natural order and all we stand for. Or perhaps you disagree. I, I just... Wait, my lord, please! Kali, did you just get in? Where have you been all night? Father, I... There's something I need to tell you. Well, this can't be good. What happened? It's... Is it about Rasha? No. I was on duty today and... I saw something so horrible, I... Tell me. Well... It started with... Unbelievable. He did that to our own people. Powerless commoners. Kali, you need to run. What? Don't tell them you're leaving. Just go. Get out of the city as far away as you can. But, Father, 
What about Rasha? If I just cut and run now, they'll take it out on her. And you. They'll probably lock you up. And they'll kill Rasha for sure. She doesn't have her wings anymore. As far as they're concerned, she's a commoner now. And now we both know what they do to commoners. So, no, I'm not leaving Rasha. I'm her sister. You're right. You are her sister. And I'm your father. We're family. We'll all leave together, then. We'll find a place to hide and start over. Maybe I should just stay. I don't want to make you lose everything. I won't lose everything. I'll have you too. Yeah. We'll always have each other. Let me go to Russia. I'll tell her. Kali, did you just get in? Where have you been all night? Father, I... There's something I need to tell you. Well, this can't be good. What happened? It's... Is it about Russia? No. I was on duty today, and I saw something so horrible, I... Tell me. Well, it started with... Unbelievable. He did that to our own people. Powerless commoners. Kali, you need to run. What? Don't tell them you're leaving. Just go. Get out of the city as far away as you can. But, Father, what about Rasha? If I just cut and run now, they'll take it out on her. And you. They'll probably lock you up. And they'll kill Rasha for sure. She doesn't have her wings anymore. As far as they're concerned, she's a commoner now. And now we both know what they do to commoners. So no, I'm not leaving Rasha. I'm her brother. You're right. You are her brother. And I'm your father. We're family. We'll all leave together, then. We'll find a place to hide and start over. Maybe I should just stay. I don't want to make you lose everything. I won't lose everything. I'll have you too. Yeah. We'll always have each other. Let me go to Rasha. I'll tell her. Rasha, can we talk just for a minute? It's really important. Please, today, I saw Lord Ypsilon kill two innocent people. Commoners. I honestly thought he loved his people. That's why I loved him. But he murdered them. Just like that. And not for any good reason. They were only protecting a baby. He pulled the life right out of them. I tried to talk him out of it. He just wouldn't listen. And Rasha, I'm the one who brought them in. They're dead because of me. You were right. You were right all along. I can't take back anything I've done, but I can make it right between you and me. Just please give me a chance. Please open the door. Rasha. We both made our choices. Little ones. That led to big ones. But Kali... If you want to make this right, I'm here for it, because I'm still your little sister. Rasha, can we talk? Just for a minute. It's really important. Please? Today I saw Lord Ypsilon kill two innocent people. Commoners. I honestly thought he loved his people. That's why I loved him. But he murdered them. Just like that. And not for any good reason. They were only protecting a baby. He pulled the life right out of them. I tried to talk him out of it. He just wouldn't listen. And Rasha, I'm the one who brought them in. They're dead because of me. You were right. You were right all along. I can't take anything back I've done. But I can make it right between you and me. Just please give me a chance. Please open the door. Rasha. We both made our choices. Little ones. That led to big ones, but Kali, if you want to make this right, I'm here for it, because I'm still your little sister. That ought to do it. Yes. All of you, return to base. I'll tie up the loose ends. Russia is the child. There's no doubt. Hmm. How do you know? They said the child has Tasha's keepsake. A scarf with her symbol on it. Kali has a scarf, but there's no symbol. Plus... Kali was the one who arrested Tasha's family. If there'd been any relation between them, Kali would have let them go. And I'm not just defending my subordinate here. Kali cares deeply about family. Always has. Also, if Tasha's family had recognized Kali, they would have said something. But all they said to Kali, in between all the begging for mercy, was that they'd sent the child to the priest's house. And besides all that, Kali's always been loyal. Whereas Rasha is a washed-out renegade. Which of those two do you think has the blood of a troublemaker? Valid points all. Nevertheless, don't scratch Kali off the suspect list just yet. Understood, my lord. That ought to do it. Yes, all of you, return to base. 
I'll tie up the loose ends. Russia is the child. There's no doubt. Hmm. How do you know? They said the child has Tasha's keepsake. A scarf with her symbol on it. Kali has a scarf, but there's no symbol. Plus, Kali was the one who arrested Tasha's family. If there'd been any relation between them, Kali would have let them go. And I'm not just defending my subordinate here. Kali cares deeply about family. Always has. Also, if Tasha's family had recognized Kali, they would have said something. But all they said to Kali, in between all the begging for mercy, was that they'd sent the child to the priest's house. And besides all that, Kali's always been loyal. Whereas Rasha is a washed-out renegade. Which of those two do you think has the blood of a troublemaker? Valid points all. Nevertheless, don't scratch Kali off the suspect list just yet. Understood, my lord. Captain Lion, what are you doing here? If you're looking for father or my sister, they're both out. You should come back later. Let... let go of me. I... I can't breathe. <sighs> I knew it was you. <laughs> What are you doing? I shouldn't have had your wings ripped off. What? I've always been curious about mutant magic. Guess I won't get to see it now. Too bad. I, I don't understand. Please, just get out of here. Did you ever think it was strange, Rasha? That you were so far behind? Magic runs of the family, of course. Your father, Anan? Well, aside from the Lord himself, he's the strongest in the city. What are you trying to say? I'm saying you are not Anand's biological daughter. What in the world are you talking about? Your biological mother's name was Tasha. She was a commoner and a misfit like you. Now that I've got a good look at this scarf, I remember everything about it. I hated it. Back when she wore it, it fluttered every time she moved. Kept throwing me off. So oh, this scarf used to belong to someone named Tasha. So what? <laughs> to you, your mother's just someone named Tasha. Fitting, but yes. And the one who gave it to you is your biological father, incidentally. Where is he now? Kali arrested him. Not knowing he was your father, of course. I questioned him myself. Then he's probably dead. Well, that aside, for your other family's sake, I suggest you come along quietly, unless you want to claim that scarf isn't really yours. <laughs> it's mine. My family gave it to me. Master, terrible news. What is it? Rasha. Rasha's been taken. What? Who took her? Where? It was. Captain Lion, what are you doing here? If you're looking for father or my brother, they're both out. You should come back later. Let, let go of me. I, I can't breathe. I knew it was you. What are you doing? I shouldn't have had your wings ripped off. What? I've always been curious about mutant magic. Guess I won't get to see it now. Too bad. I, I don't understand. Please, just get out of here. Did you ever think it was strange, Rasha? That you were so far behind? Magic runs of the family, of course. Your father, Anan? Well, aside from the Lord himself, he's the strongest in the city. What are you trying to say? I'm saying you are not Anand's biological daughter. What in the world are you talking about? Your biological mother's name was Tasha. She was a commoner and a misfit like you. Now that I've got a good look at this scarf, I remember everything about it. I hated it. Back when she wore it. It fluttered every time she moved. Kept throwing me off. So this scarf used to belong to someone named Tasha. So what? <laughs> to you, your mother's just someone named Tasha. Fitting, but yes. And the one who gave it to you is your biological father, incidentally. Where is he now? Kali arrested him. Not knowing he was your father, of course. I questioned him myself. Then he's probably dead. Well... That aside, for your other family's sake, I suggest you come along quietly. Unless you want to claim that scarf isn't really yours. <laughs> it's mine. My family gave it to me. Master, terrible news. What is it? Rasha. Rasha's been taken. What? Who took her? 
Where? It was. Lion? Anan, long time no see. Where's my daughter? Oh, right. Your daughter. Go on ahead if you want to see her. Lord Ypsilon's expecting you. Anan. Russia! You... Why? How could you? You know exactly why. Mutants are sin incarnate. Even without the wings, she could have... Well, you never know. We had to be sure. Of course, raising a mutant in secret is also quite a sin. So you'll have to pay for that as well. Then again, your daughter Kali has been... Hmm. Loyal enough, for the most part. Hmm. What to do with you? Lion? Anan, long time no see. Where's my daughter? Oh, right. Your daughter. Go on ahead if you want to see her. Lord Ypsilon's expecting you. Anan. Russia! You... Why? How could you? You know exactly why. Mutants are sin incarnate. Even without the wings, she could have... Well, you never know. We had to be sure. Of course, raising a mutant in secret is also quite a sin. So you'll have to pay for that as well. Then again, your son Kali has been... Hmm. Loyal enough, for the most part. Hmm. What to do with you? Mission accomplished, Captain. Here's my full report. Kali, listen. You're gonna find out eventually, so I might as well tell you now. About what? Do you remember the arms dealer we interrogated? Of course I do. Well, believe it or not, the woman you knew as your sister was actually his daughter. What? She was the mutant we'd been looking for. And there are no exceptions for mutants. I did what I had to do, with the Lord's blessing. You... What did you do? Are... Are you telling me you killed her? There's more. Your father had been knowingly harboring the mutant all this time. He's in custody now. But, in light of your service, the Lord has agreed to spare his life. He's talking over the terms with Anan as we speak. You didn't answer my question! Did you kill my sister? Lower your voice. And yes, I can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. You loved her, and I know it's hard to believe what she really was. But the evidence was undeniable. What evidence? Her scarf, your sister's scarf, was Tasha's keepsake. The scarf? She said the arms dealer gave it to her as a gift. He wanted to pass it down, I suppose. Without knowing, it would get her killed. <laughs> no. No, that scarf is... It's hers, Kali. She confessed. If nothing else, she loved you enough to get it over with and spare you any further pain. I'm sure you'll need some time. Go home. Come back when you're ready. You're the best right hand I've ever had. I trust you. And I hope you can still trust me. No. Excuse me? That scarf is mine, the arms dealer. Jad. He gave it to me, not her. Rasha wasn't the child. She's not the mutant. I am! Mission accomplished, Captain. Here's my full report. Kali, listen. You're gonna find out eventually, so I might as well tell you now. About what? Do you remember the arms dealer we interrogated? Of course I do. Well, believe it or not, the woman you knew as your sister was actually his daughter. What? She was the mutant we'd been looking for. And there are no exceptions for mutants. I did what I had to do, with the Lord's blessing. You... What did you do? Are... Are you telling me you killed her? There's more. Your father had been knowingly harboring the mutant all this time. He's in custody now. But... In light of your service, the Lord has agreed to spare his life. He's talking over the terms with Anan as we speak. You didn't answer my question. Did you kill my sister? Lower your voice. And yes, I can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. You loved her, and I know it's hard to believe what she really was. But the evidence was undeniable. What evidence? Her scarf. Your sister's scarf was Tasha's keepsake. The scarf? She said the arms dealer gave it to her as a gift. He wanted to pass it down, I suppose. Without knowing, it would get her killed. <laughs> no. No, that scarf is- It's hers, Kali. She confessed. If nothing else, 
she loved you enough to get it over with and spare you any further pain. I'm sure you'll need some time. Go home. Come back when you're ready. You're the best right hand I've ever had. I trust you. And I hope you can still trust me. No. Excuse me? That scarf is mine. The arms dealer, Jad. He gave it to me, not her. Rasha wasn't the child. She's not the mutant. I am. Stop. Kali. Rasha. No. No. There's been enough violence today, Kali. And I don't want to hurt your father. But in light of his sins, he can no longer serve as a priest. I'm going to take away his magic. No. I'm not going to let you. <sighs> and Lion always said you were so very wise. If you truly want to save your father, hmm, I don't think I've ever seen you up close like this. Your magic, it feels so alien. <laughs> Lion got it wrong, didn't he? You are Tasha's daughter. Carly, run! <sighs> <sighs> father! I can't leave you! Go. For Rasha. Live on, my daughter. Stop! Kali. Rasha. No, no. There's been enough violence today, Kali. And I don't want to hurt your father. But in light of his sins, he can no longer serve as a priest. I'm going to take away his magic. No. I'm not going to let you. <sighs> and Lion always said you were so very wise. If you truly want to save your father, hmm. I don't think I've ever seen you up close like this. Your magic, it feels so... alien. <laughs> Lion got it wrong, didn't he? You are Tasha's son. Golly, run! <sighs> Father, I can't leave you! Go. For Rasha. Live on, my son. Empress, it's so late at night already. Yes, and the wind is cold. Well... I had no choice but to come find you. The champion who led us to victory. Though, clearly that victory is not the end for you. Kali, do you remember the day you first joined the Alliance? I made you a promise. If you would fight for Maple World, we would gladly join you in your own time of need. If now is that time, then we are with you. Thank you. But we've already taken so many losses, and if the Alliance intervenes... There'll be war between Arev and Aramos. True, most likely. But Kali, you saved the world. We will go to war for your sake. You've earned that from us. Thank you for your very kind offer. But his life is mine alone to take. Empress. It's so late at night already. Yes. And the wind is cold. Well, I had no choice but to come find you. The champion who led us to victory. Though... Clearly, that victory is not the end for you. Kali, do you remember the day you first joined the Alliance? I made you a promise. If you would fight for Maple World, we would gladly join you in your own time of need. If now is that time, then we are with you. Thank you. But we've already taken so many losses. And if the Alliance intervenes, there will be war between Arev and Aramos. True, most likely. But Kali... You saved the world. We will go to war for your sake. You've earned that from us. Thank you for your very kind offer. But his life is mine alone to take. Kali, I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. Ypsilon! They call you the Godslayer now. Can you believe it? A commoner killing a transcendent. <sighs> what is this world coming to? You're here for me now, I suppose. Not your best decision, but if you must avenge your family, you have my permission to try. <sighs> Do you have any remorse? For any of it? For all the lives you sacrificed? Remorse? <laughs> oh, Kali. Do you feel remorse when you swat a fly? Now, you had my permission to try to kill me, but I'm afraid I can't let you succeed. It wouldn't be proper, but don't be disappointed. We'll meet again, when he wills it. He? Kali. I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. Ypsilon. They call you the Godslayer now. Can you believe it? A commoner, killing a transcendent. <sighs> what is this world coming to? You're here for me now, I suppose. Not your best decision, but if you must avenge your family, 
You have my permission to try. <sighs> Do you have any remorse? For any of it? For all the lives you sacrificed? Remorse? <laughs> oh, Kali. Do you feel remorse when you swat a fly? Now, you had my permission to try to kill me, but I'm afraid I can't let you succeed. It wouldn't be proper, but don't be disappointed. We'll meet again when he wills it. He? Pointy ears, magic wings. This is a high flora. Seems injured. All right, I'd better bandage them up. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. You're awake. <sighs> what? Is this place? It's Pantheon, obviously. I'm Nova Guardian Kaiser. Now, who are you and what are you doing here? I was on the run. I happened to come this way. I'm not... I'm not here to make any trouble. Right. A high flora just happened to wander up, huh? I tell them everything that happened in Eremos. I ran so I could live. For revenge. Your heart is full of anger and pain. I believe you speak the truth. Pointy ears, magic wings. This is a high flora. Seems injured. All right, I'd better bandage them up. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. You're awake. Ah, uh, what is this place? It's Pantheon, obviously. I'm Nova Guardian Kaiser. Now, who are you and what are you doing here? I was on the run. I happened to come this way. I I'm not... I'm not here to make any trouble. Right. A high flora just happened to wander up, huh? I tell them everything that happened in Eremos. I ran so I could live. For revenge. Your heart is full of anger and pain. I believe you speak the truth. This is the room I was born in. I don't even know how to feel. Coming back here, was that my crib? It's like this place froze in time when I was born. When my birth mother died. All right. Let's see what Niall was talking about. This is my father's handwriting. Dear Tasha, this is Anan. In gratitude for what you did, I've sent you some money. I hope you'll accept it. You saved my life. And I'll always be thankful. Doubly so, because you didn't have to. After all... The whole city knows how you feel about the Blessed, so who'd ever have expected you to save a high priest? If you're wondering why I was up on that cliff, my wife was very sick. There were rumors of a special flower on that cliffside, with roots you could boil into a healing potion. I was sure it was just superstition, but I tried everything else. If you hadn't reached down and caught me, well, the world turns on reciprocity, so if there's anything else I can do to repay you, Please, let me know. Sincerely, Anan. Dear Tasha, this is Anan. A little bird told me you're expecting a child. As it happens, my wife and I have a little someone on the way as well. She's feeling so much better now. It's been a miracle how much she's recovered. She's still got a long road ahead, but she's positively glowing all the same. It sounds like our two children will be born around the same time. I imagine yours will be cheerful and sharp, like you. Please don't think of the crib as a handout. It's a gift to your baby. I want our children to be friends. Imagine them growing up side by side. It won't even matter which cast they're in. You've given me that hope for the future. Sincerely, Anan. Dear Jad, this is Anan. Are you well? Kali's doing wonderfully. You know you're always welcome to visit. I'm sure it must be hard for you. But if you ever want to, our door is always open. You should see Kali run. Tasha would be so proud. Poor Rasha's always wearing herself out trying to keep up with her sister. But it's a great workout for both of them. Rasha's almost as fast as Kali now. Much faster than her friends. Blood relations or not, the two of them are sisters through and through. I know my wife would love Kali just as much as all of us do. I like to think she can still see them both shining so brightly together. The other reason I wanted to write you is because I have a request. Kali's in need of a new weapon. The sword just isn't suited for that kind of running speed. It keeps flying out of Kali's hand in mid-sprint. Could you come up with something lighter? Maybe a light scimitar or a throwing knife? Something along those lines. If so, I want to bring Kali along to pick it up in person. You deserve to see how much your child's grown. We could make it a birthday present. What do you say? Sincerely, 
Anan. This is the room I was born in? I don't even know how to feel coming back here. Was that my crib? It's like this place froze in time when I was born. When my birth mother died. All right. Let's see what Niall was talking about. This is my father's handwriting. Dear Tasha, this is Anan. In gratitude for what you did, I've sent you some money. I hope you'll accept it. You saved my life. And I'll always be thankful. Doubly so, because you didn't have to. After all, the whole city knows how you feel about the Blessed. So who'd ever have expected you to save a high priest? If you're wondering why I was up on that cliff, my wife was very sick. There were rumors of a special flower on that cliffside, with roots you could boil into a healing potion. I was sure it was just superstition, but I tried everything else. If you hadn't reached down and caught me, well, the world turns on reciprocity. So if there's anything else I can do to repay you, please let me know. Sincerely. Anan. Dear Tasha, this is Anan. A little bird told me you're expecting a child. As it happens, my wife and I have a little someone on the way as well. She's feeling so much better now. It's been a miracle how much she's recovered. She's still got a long road ahead, but she's positively glowing all the same. It sounds like our two children will be born around the same time. I imagine yours will be cheerful and sharp, like you. Please don't think of the crib as a handout. It's a gift to your baby. I want our children to be friends. Imagine them growing up side by side. It won't even matter which cast they're in. You've given me that hope for the future. Sincerely, Anan. Dear Jad, this is Anan. Are you well? Kali's doing wonderfully. You know you're always welcome to visit. I'm sure it must be hard for you. But if you ever want to, our door is always open. You should see Kali run. Tasha would be so proud. Poor Rasha's always wearing herself out, trying to keep up with her brother. But it's a great workout for both of them. Rasha's almost as fast as Kali now. Much faster than her friends. Blood relations or not, the two of them are siblings through and through. I know my wife would love Kali just as much as all of us do. I like to think she can still see them both, shining so brightly together. The other reason I wanted to write you is because I have a request. Kali's in need of a new weapon. The sword just isn't suited for that kind of running speed. It keeps flying out of Kali's hand in mid-sprint. Could you come up with something lighter? Maybe a light scimitar or a throwing knife? Something along those lines. If so, I want to bring Kali along to pick it up in person. You deserve to see how much your child's grown. We could make it a birthday present. What do you say? Sincerely, Anan. My father who raised me with unwavering love, Jad, who always watched over me from a distance, Tasha, who brought me into this world, Rasha, and all the commoners who died just for being who they were. I'll avenge them all. My father, who raised me with unwavering love, Jad, who always watched over me from a distance, Tasha, who brought me into this world, Rasha, and all the commoners who died just for being who they were. I'll avenge them all. Name's Cain. Your friends told me about you. Mr. Kane has been searching for a certain man. I believe your interests may align. There was a man here in Tulin City. We called him the Doctor, or Dr. Y. He had the power to extract what he wanted from others. Extract? As in, what exactly? What did he take from them? Anything and everything. Memories, power, even death. <laughs> I've seen Ypsilon do some of that. He takes people's life force and their magic. He absorbs it into his hands, which, let me think out loud about this, raises a question. Does everything he extracts get absorbed into his own body, even if he might, I don't know, offload it and store it somewhere else afterwards? If we're talking about the same person and he extracted death from somebody, does that mean he could have died doing it? I have a hard time believing he'd be that selfless. I don't think he literally extracts death. I'm speculating here, but I think he's extracting the damage that led to the death. I can't be sure. I... I didn't see exactly what he did to her. So, what do you suppose his endgame is? Considering he's mainly absorbed life and magic from what I've seen, I thought he might be gearing up to challenge the God King. If Dr. Y is Ypsilon... And that sounds likely. He's got to be planning to do something with all that strength. I'm not sure it's a matter of strength. The doctor's a man of science. 
When I worked with him, he mainly took memories. Whatever that did for him, it wasn't as simple as making him stronger. Uh, still too many unknowns. Niall, if you could, please keep on gathering information. Of course, Kali. Name's Kane. Your friends told me about you. Mr. Kane has been searching for a certain man. I believe your interests may align. There was a man here in Tulin City. We called him the Doctor, or Dr. Y. He had the power to extract what he wanted from others. Extract as in what, exactly? What did he take from them? Anything and everything. Memories, power, even death. <laughs> I've seen Ypsilon do some of that. He takes people's life force and their magic. He absorbs it into his hands, which... Let me think out loud about this. Raises a question. Does everything he extracts get absorbed into his own body? Even if he might, I don't know, offload it and store it somewhere else afterwards. If we're talking about the same person, and he extracted death from somebody, does that mean he could have died doing it? I have a hard time believing he'd be that selfless. I don't think he literally extracts death. I'm speculating here, but I think he's extracting the damage that led to the death. I can't be sure. I... I didn't see exactly what he did to her. So, what do you suppose his endgame is? Considering he's mainly absorbed life and magic from what I've seen, I thought he might be gearing up to challenge the God King. If Dr. Y is Ypsilon, and that sounds likely, he's got to be planning to do something with all that strength. I'm not sure it's a matter of strength. The doctor's a man of science. When I worked with him, he mainly took memories. Whatever that did for him, it wasn't as simple as making him stronger. Hmm. Still too many unknowns. Niall, if you could, please keep on gathering information. Of course, Kali. I'll come back. Please, be careful. And don't forget, you're only there to help. To help? Right. <laughs> it's funny. I joined the Alliance to use them for my revenge. It's all I've thought about since I left Eremos. It's what I've lived for all this time. To kill Ypsilon. That's my destiny. But last night, I had a thought. What would Rasha do if it were her instead of me? And you and I both know the answer to that. She'd have protected the whole world. And everybody in it with all her heart. I didn't beat her in races just because I was faster. You know? When I run, I look straight ahead. Dead on. Every time. Rasha. She'd always slow down. To appreciate everything she saw. Flowers, animals, people. Getting there is important, of course. But you meet so many people along the way. And that matters too. They matter too. Kali. You've understood the whole time. Haven't you, Niall? If I'm so hell-bent on revenge that I turn away from people in need, or sacrifice them to get ahead, then I'm no better than him. The only thing that can set me apart now is standing up for everyone else. Being a protector. A real protector. It seems like only yesterday. You were a baby. Now look at you. All grown up. Whatever I can do to help, I am with you to the end. Take care of yourself. And the people who need you. I will. I promise. I'll come back. Please, be careful. And don't forget, you're only there to help. To help. Right. It's funny. I joined the Alliance to use them for my revenge. It's all I've thought about since I left Eremos. It's what I've lived for all this time. To kill Ypsilon, that's my destiny. But last night, I had a thought. What would Rasha do if it were her instead of me? <laughs> you and I both know the answer to that. She'd have protected the whole world and everybody in it with all her heart. I didn't beat her in races just because I was faster, you know. When I run, I look straight ahead. Dead on. Every time. Rasha? She'd always slow down to appreciate everything she saw. Flowers. Animals. People. Getting there is important, of course. But you meet so many people along the way. And that matters, too. They. Matter too. Kali. You've understood the whole time, haven't you, Niall? If I'm so hell-bent on revenge that I turn away from people in need, or sacrifice them to get ahead, then I'm no better than him. The only thing that can set me apart now is standing up for everyone else. Being a protector. 
a real protector. It seems like only yesterday. You were a baby. Now look at you, all grown up. Whatever I can do to help, I am with you to the end. Take care of yourself and the people who need you. I will. I promise. With the single thought that I had to survive, I walked and walked. And when I finally reached the border of Continental Grandis, I was so relieved that I passed out then and there. Rip her wings off? Those wings are her pride as a high flora. But if I don't, she'll die. I have to. With the single thought that I had to survive, I walked and walked. And when I finally reached the border of Continental Grandis, I was so relieved that I passed out then and there. Rip her wings off? Those wings are her pride as a high flora. But if I don't, she'll die. I have to.